Hey guys, this is Jesser. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, Leeds Code 200, a number of items. We're given a 2D map of 1 and zeros. 1 means land, 0 means water. We need to count the number of items. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent land, horizontally or vertically. You may assume all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water. Okay, so if we conduct this, there's only one island, right? Connected. Okay, this one is two. Well, so this actually is a, a three. Okay, this is a three then. So this is just a, we are asked to count the connected areas, right? With ones. Well, so it's it's how can we uh, check the 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 points are connected? We just do it in DFS or BFS. Both are okay. We just uh, step on one step on one point and just to search for a surrounding point, right? Right. For a point, there will be four directions. So suppose let's step on this one, and then we'll keep walking on, keep walking, and keep walking, keep walking, and f and collect all the ones, and then. We'll check the next one. It's already walked, so skip, skip, skip. Zero, skip, 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 skip. And uh, so there's only one land. But for this case, after we walk on, uh, start walking on this one, this four will be collected. And, uh, and then we skip, skip, skip. And we find a new island that, was, that is not walked a step on before. So we start walking on this island again. This reminds us there's a two. Uh, island, right? So yeah, so the idea is simple. One step on one, one, and start searching for connected uh, points, right? We need to mark if a point is traversed or not. So use a uh, uh, use a two D array to mark a point being traversed, being, how to say, being walked on, I mean, I limit walk, okay, it's being walked on, and then, three, count the, uh, count, count the, uh, step one, so, if we can, uh, have, uh, three, three, uh, walks, uh, three, how can I say, if I, uh, step on one island and then a walk. I, I I mean, if I walk on a new point for three times, there will be three islands, right? Sure, let's do it. So, um, so let's just define the result. It should be initialized to zero, and with the for we, uh, okay, for the grid, let's cache some of the codes and the rows. The grid might be empty, right? Yeah, length, uh huh, constant calls equals. Okay, so if rows the length equals zero, return zero. Grid zero, this might be undefined. Okay. And then we walk on this. Uh, we need to get the index. Okay. And then if okay if it is land and not walked before right and uh, let's create a walked equals new array rows field zero map New array calls feel calls. Okay, so if it is not worked before, okay, if a uh, grid row column, if it is land and it's not walked before, then we walk on it, right? Then we walk. 
Okay, so here we need to create a walk method. When we walk, we need to update the result. So result plus equals one. So we walk on row column, right? And that's it. And finally, we could, we should return the result. And we should start walking on this a specific point. And obviously, it should be uh, a BFS or a DFS. Either is okay. Let's just use BFS, okay? It's easier to understand. Okay, I'll say uh, walk. I use a queue. I put a row and a column in it. So there's low, no layer thing. And we, I just, uh, while the queue is not empty, I'll pop it up. I need to actually, uh, oh, okay. When I push something in it, it should be marked as walked, right? So, walked row should be true okay I put in a queue and then get it and push the next connected uh, coordinates in it right so if there will be four directions uh, allow me to yeah so I'll define directions here cross directions Zero one, zero minus one, one zero, minus one zero. So, for each direction, right? We get the point out. Okay, we need to get the point. Get the point. Const uh, head. Ah, for Q, shift is not fast enough. I think we could do stack, pop it, and put to the next. So it becomes. Uh, uh, if you use a stack, it becomes actually uh, like uh, we push this one and push it in, pop it this, push it in. Okay, it's kind of like a DFS actually. Okay, we use DFS actually, we use a stack. And I pop it. And so that's it. And we will put the next coordinates in it right so for led direction of directions constant next would be um, top to zero plus direction zero top one plus direction one there are several conditions one it is not it is not uh, it is not walked before and then it should be one right so if grid next zero next one it is one and uh, it is not walked before It is not what we before. We we all push it in, right? We push uh, next, push next. Cool. And before we push it, we should okay. We push it okay, and we push it. Once we push it, we need to mark it as walked, right? This because when we are okay, we will go to one. We mark this one and this one, right? And then we pop this one out, and it will mark. Uh, this one, this one, this one. <coughs> yeah, so we should wa walk uh, next zero, next one to true. So yeah, I think we're done. So this will mark enough. 
more connected dots, right? Let's suppose for this one. Okay, uh, the root is marked and uh, it will pop up and push these two in. Ah, there's a problem if it's valid or not, right? So I would say uh, is if next zero is minus bigger is valid, right? And this would have then uh, arose next one yeah so we push these two in they are all walk now and pop this one out and uh, we all push this one and this one this one already walked so this one in and then pop this one out this one in pop this one out nothing pop this one out nothing pop this one out this pop this one out this so I think it should work hmm? uh oh zero what we walk something right it should have not being walked Locked is rows for zero map and the new array calls fill false. Yeah, so the walk is for all false. And when we meet to one and that walk will walk. Mm -hmm. The result plus one. We return zero. Mm, not good. Something wrong here? Grid, right? Yeah. Ah. Something wrong here? Rose. Ugh. God. I found. Hmm. Still, it's zero. Wait a minute. If rose is zero, we return zero. And walk. So, mm. so we find, find, find false. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see it's string. Shit. Uh oh. Okay. It's string, it's not number. Okay. So property one of z undefined. Hmm? Where? Uh nine forty two. Cannot set what shit. Great, I think I'm done here. Let's submit. Huh? Runtime error? Really? This is for the input. This. Uh oh, really? Uh, 39 it says grid next zero next zero it should be smaller than rows uh -huh. ah shit ah hmm? so the coordinates should be valid and uh, can mm, still next zero becomes three. It says cannot read a property three of undefined. Huh? 
direction is zero, top one. Okay, okay, this is right. There's three, even four. Zero, uh, four, zero, one, two, three. Right? So the row shouldn't be four. Ah, this four. You mean this? Not valid actually. Mm. Ah. Um, thirty nine. This row, right? Uh -huh. This is column. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, 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 false, uh -huh. false, true. Why three, four, three is true? What is the rows? The rows and the columns. It should be invalid, right? Because four, there's zero, only zero, one, two, three. There's no four. Rows is four, right? Column is five. Uh huh. So next one. Ah, <gasps> uh, my brain doesn't work, man. Sorry, it takes to a little. I, I was stuck here because, yeah, this stuff. My brain doesn't work. Okay, for time. Back to the well Travis roll all the uh, for all the points, which is linear time, and then we start from one point and it will Travis for all the ones. Worst t worst case is that all the points will be. Uh, will be the one right so it's worst case is 2n so it's linear time space we use uh, a walked array which is the copy of the array actually space it should be and linear space great so that's it hope it helps I think it's kind of similar to uh, if you fi find some isolated trees how many sub trees are in a in a, on a plane like right so we just uh, choose a node and start BFS or DFS and uh, mark all the nodes with one or two. Oh no mark the nodes as traversed and so we just count the process to de de detect how many subtrees are there and there's another problem called what bipartite? Bipart bipartite? Right it's also something the same and uh, the destination thing, right? And uh, yeah, anything related to the graph, isolated graph, and could be done by this. This is a nice trick. Okay, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye. I'm not good. I'm not good at algorithms. Anyway.